Welcome to the 44 plus one. In this session, we have, uh, well, we have some updates. Uh, for one thing, um, Kalis, uh, aka Omni, he has had to leave. He said he got a promotion at work, so he won't be able to make it to our sessions anymore. It's, it's an unavoidable thing, but our friend Alvis here, who's playing Isaac, he has brought along another player. Um, unfortunately, he didn't uh, he didn't pass it by me first. He sort of invited him without in consulting me. But that I'm gonna so say that's that? okay. Uh, it it's fine. You don't have to worry. We will we'll let him join in. See how we go. See how see how he fares. Let's hope it all goes well. But aside from that, we currently don't have Lady Trance either. He said he was going to be a few minutes late, but that few minutes has transformed into 35 minutes, so yeah, at this point, I'm getting rather impatient, and I think the rest of us have been kind of annoyed because we weren't able to play the last two weeks, so we might as well start playing now. With all that in mind, uh, does everyone remember what happened last time? Yeah. Previously, on Total Drama Islands. No. We <laughs> ran into a talking bush. We met some druids. We went into the woods. Turns out owl bears really are deadly because this is yet another party that almost died to owl bears. Almost died? You were the first that Kieran that has handled. Mm -hmm. But, we ended the session running up to the hippies' village. Where it's being burned to the ground by gnolls. Perhaps oh, next time they will yeah. decide not to make their homes out of very burnable hemp. They're they're making them out of wood, man. It's it's homegrown wood, you know. No need to discriminate. Anyway. Oh yeah, those <laughs> are organic, man. <laughs> it's all organic, man. I mean, it's not wrong. I mean, anyways. Yeah. Aside from that, um. Something interesting also happened with with uh, King's character, Leo. He showed up last time, I believe. Yeah, he, he, he showed up starting last session. And after he met you all, you know, you guys got your greetings out of the way. You know, everything was nice. Um, Leo accompanied you on your current quest. And while he was keeping watch, something happened to him. You guys weren't there to experience it, but uh, I, I said it to everyone else. If if you guys have, if any of you have seen last session, what I'm describing is mostly just the stuff that uh, Craig didn't record, which is why we're using OBS from now on. Um, he saw these weird shadowy visions out of the corner of his eye while he was keeping watch. Then as he finally slept, he heard a voice... And then the voice is like, oh, you want to hear, you want to hear Revel's voice? And he's like, okay. And then, oh, there's a scream in his head. He's taking damage, and now he has a new flaw. We'll get to that. Yep. Anyways, I, I was hoping through this introduction that, uh, wait, hang on. Is now they're here. Bjorkis, finally. I was going <laughs> to, hello. Hello, Trance, you there? Okay. Uh, that, we're going to pick up where we left off, okay? Everyone? Yes. Yep. Schrodinger's Artificer. Yes. Now, I, we have already got, we've already rolled initiative to uh, save time while we were waiting for trance. So how about we just begin? Does, it, does that sound good to everyone? Yep. Hell yeah. All right. Well, based off of what I've rolled, it looks like the Noel Skellies are up first. Basically what's happened is that you have made it to this clearing, and as you've looked over these trees, you see the wooden houses in front of you. Uh, they, look, uh, they look like they've been occupied, and one of them has been occupied not by people, but by flames. With that in mind, the closest knoll has spotted you 
and is shouting out something in its native tongue. And it looks like these... <laughs> looks like there are some uh, skeletal-like creatures that are a bit farther away in one of the other houses. Uh, one of them is... You see, there's this one outside. I'm assuming you guys can see this. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, it is going to move up. It's it's moving up, making a click clack sounds. <laughs> <laughs> you can very you can very hear very clearly hear the uh, the sounds of its bones uh, colliding with the ground as it moves, and you can hear that those footsteps are not the only ones. In fact. Here's another one that's leaving the building. Ah, no, <laughs> no whirling is leaving the building. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, they're starting oh, to, uh. They're starting to. They're starting to make their way towards you. And since they're still nowhere near close enough to start attacking you, they are going to have to sprint. So I will give uh -oh. them an extra 30 feet of movement. One, two, three, mm. four, five, six. And the one closest to you is now in direct contact with the rather terrified looking druid that has uh, led you to this clearing. One, two, three, four, five, six. The second one moves closer. One, two, three, four, five, six. The third moves closer. And the fourth. Four, five, six. Okay. Wow. It looks like their instinct has been to just rush you. But unfortunately, or fortunately for you guys, they cannot attack you just yet. So, <laughs> it is now, uh... The Null Swole's turn. You know what? I just forgot. I, I forgot to roll initiative for the druid. Might as well do that right now. How silly of me. <laughs> Whoops. We all didn't think about it. Yeah. Awesome. Speaking of which, Lady Trance is currently in our Discord. It's in our chat. We're... I didn't say a thing. <laughs> it was a thing. Ah, uh, uh -huh. Oh, wow. Oh, there, there they are. I see what you've done to my turn order, bastards. Well, I'm having technical difficulties. Okay, um... Interesting development. The druid rolled high, so <laughs> we'll be going next. Of course he's high. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you were in the last session, don't you? I, I, I played him exactly how uh, how you would expect. Well, how you expect if you were to uh, interpret the term bush incorrectly. Anyways, that aside, I remember uh, I remember he he expended two spell slots. One first level spell slot, one second level spell slot. Looking yes. at what he has, I am going to have him choose a 20 foot square to cast Entangle. That's a useful ability, I think. Yeah. Definitely with the so, mustard over there. Let's see here a 20 foot square. Uh, let's see here. Uh, that should be. I could. I could make the the four in front. That is correct. Yeah, the four in front. Yep. Okay then. It looks like those four in front will have to make strength saving throws. Uh, DC twelve, since I'm using the druid stat block from the monster manual. The okay. one in front, right, right in front of him, got a six. So they are restrained. And I will 
I'll mark that with the closest thing to chains that I can find. And the second one, that is a 9. Okay. The, the third has gotten a 16 and avoids being restrained. And the fourth one got a 19, so that's, that's it. It's just the two in front. But it looks like, uh, looks like the tide is already turning a little bit. No, you were concerned about enemies rushing you. Now it's not so bad. So, now the, as I've labeled them, the Null Swoles. <laughs> as in this one with, uh, the more impressive set of armor and the broader muscle. Uh, this one's moving closer to you. And is getting into position. <laughs> and now. First of all, it is going to. It is going to uh, fire using a longbow. Ah, crap. I'm going to have it target uh, either of the two that I can that I can see the best, which is either Leo or Lady Trance. I'm going to roll for that, and <clears throat> that will be Lady Trance. It's going to shoot twice at you. Why are you attacking me? What did I do? <laughs> you were in the wrong place at the wrong time. Now, I'm on uh, grandma. The grandma. Oh, Grandma, don't don't you know, Knowles are allergic to wool sweaters, and I recognized you as this knitter of sweaters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like it's a very people. distinct smell, I suppose. Anyways. Ooh, I should probably turn on the light. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, that's a 17 to hit. Yeah, oh, a 17 you meets your AC, so it beats your AC. I'll be hitting you for the longbow's damage. I hope you're ready. Okay, that, that is 10 damage. Ow. Why are they attacking <laughs> Grandma? They are merciless. And that is a 16, which misses. And also, it has one more ability. Oh god. It points towards uh, the tied up one right in front of the druid and barks out some sort of order and now the now the skeletal null creature is fighting against its restraints to attack the druid. Okay, it got a 12 which hits. So, it is going to deal. Ooh, six damage. To who? The druid. druid. I, I said the druid. Oh. Hmm. Wait, is this, is this Noel a battle master? No. Uh, oh, that would be cool, though. <laughs> it's just a part of the stat block I'm using for it. So pretty cool. Anyways, the mystery knolls are some shit. <laughs> That's what I'm calling them. And they aren't. You, you don't see anything. You you don't know. You don't know what's referring to, but you wouldn't even know about it because you cannot see the turn order. Yep. Now, Lady Treants, I've rolled initiative for you. Am I really ahead of all of my allies? Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. Congratulations. Oh. Alright, um... Let's see, so... Knolls... Knolls... The undead Knolls, which I hate. Yeah. Yeah, he can go here and he'll start punching things. Finally. <laughs> So, so uh, you get that, advantage that on this because it is restrained, and you are not. Oh, thank, thank you. <laughs> so, that, that'll be your saving grace. 
So he's hitting. He's hitting. <laughs> that wasn't any better. He's hitting this one. So I, I'm assuming that that will be an eight to hit. Yeah, he misses. Yep. And angry grandma. Is this the guy who hit, who hit grandma? Yes. I now have a perfect line of sight on you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, you duck behind a tree. And you're shooting it with a 12 to does hit. Does that hit? No, it does not. Its armor is too good, oh. and its muscles are too hard. It catches it on its shoulder, and the pellet simply drops to the ground harmlessly. I, the Discord almost crashed on me. I was going to be very pissed. <laughs> uh, I asked did it hit, and then I had audio cut out. That is, that is a shame. But I so can hear you. Not hit? Uh, yeah, it doesn't hit. Sorry. God damn it! I flip it off. Anyway, <laughs> of course that that is your preferred bonus action. Anyways, it's Kalis's turn now, and since he's not here, I'm going to have to play him for him. Hooray! <laughs> Anyways, uh, how bad? Okay, I hit. I hit transfer. 10 hit points worth of damage, so let's see here. I would say he would want to... I will I will have him use... Wait a minute. He's already used his channel divinity, so no. <laughs> that is <Oops>. unfortunate. <laughs> oh boy. I had to deal with someone else's character is annoying, but I, I will stick it out. So, I will have him cast... I'll have him cast Shield of Faith on Leo. So, Leo, for AC. now, you will have a plus two to your AC so long as Shield of Faith holds. I posted in the chat for you. Yep. Yep. Got it. Okay. Thank you. And now I will have him cast Eldritch Blast, targeting. I would say. Well, it goes against two separate targets, so I will move him and have him attack the two restrained gnolls, each with a separate beam. I will. I will roll for this right now. This is going to be frustrating dealing with all these, all these, all these fighters, and also. Okay. You can do it. Yeah, I, I'm sure I can do it. It's just tricky. Okay, the highest was a 17. That hits the tied up Noel Witherling, and it deals 1d10 damage. It deals six damage. That plays this. No Witherling. And the next beam. That is an 18 to hit. And it hits the other one for 4 damage. Okay, Ian. Excelente! So, first of all, I'm really sad I didn't get the chance to take Fireball. Second of all, for my bonus action, I'm going to activate the Blade Song. Oh boy. Then I shall move right here. And finally, with my action, I will draw out the line. Ten feet it hits this guy. Ten feet it hits this guy. Ten feet it hits these two. And he's barely out of range. But I'm gonna need one, two, three, and four to make constitution saving throws as I upcast magnify gravity. Okay, show off. <laughs> 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 okay, the swole knoll gets a ten. Fails. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a failure. Um, and the three knoll witherlings. Okay. That is that. That's a natural one. That's fourteen. Um, I'm pretty sure that still fails. Let me check really quick. I don't know. It does still fail. Yep, I, I knew it did. Uh, My god. 11. Okay, so they all fail. How much damage do they each take? 
well, not only is their movement halved yet again, but they all take <laughs> seven points of damage. Oh shit, that's so much damage. That's a lot. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> this oh, is man. what cooks. This is what cucks me every time. It's like, wow, I'm, I can cast a lot of spells. I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry. Okay, when everything Th goes great except are, the roll. Th those three are bloodied. Wow. And Whoa. the null, the null dude, is mildly hurt. Wow. Again. Isaac. Oh, oh boy. Oh wait. Okay. I'm sorry. Oh. Before, uh, before that, uh, Ian, would you like to do anything else? I will flip them the bird. Yes. <laughs> yes. Excellent. Isaac. <laughs> All right, now can I go? <laughs> yeah, I can go. No, no All right, worries. So. <laughs> so, guess what? Yeah. I'm gonna use my my for my bonus action. I'm gonna use my bardic inspiration. Let's see. Let's see who would put it on. I'm gonna put it on Leo. And it, that's not. It's not a D6 anymore. It's a D8. Oh boy, Leo's getting some special treatment. But dang. So it's a uh, damage rate right, or attack roll? It's 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 anything. Okay. It's, it's any roll, and it's a D8. But you also get something else. Get the notes of potential along with it. Oh yeah, I was reading that last time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's and that's my bonus action. I, I, I get a lot of cool stuff. <laughs> okay, let's see. I'm gonna try one of these. Okay. Um, how far away is that guy? How much range do I got for this spell? Let's see how much range I got. It's too far away. I'm gonna move up a little bit. Okay, just a little. Just a little bit. What will you cast? I'm casting Hideous Laughter. Oh, what kind of save is that? I'm looking right now. I think it's Wisdom, but I'm not, I'm not 100. And I think it says Wisdom, yeah. Okay. So wisdom, it rolled a six. Let's see, and it says. I'm trying to remember where what it says. It was it fall prone. I think it's fall prone and be incapacitated. Yeah, I'm trying to find what it says for the how what you're supposed to roll. Okay, I'm just gonna post it so you, you so you can tell me out here. Sure, I'm taking a look at it now. Tiny tarts and a feather test. Okay. Uh, fall prone, incapacitated, unable to stand up. Uh, yeah. Okay. It looks like. It looks like it can, uh... Okay. Does it, it looks like number? it is essentially taken out of the fight until it makes it, its saving throw at the end of its turn. I see. So, that was pretty good. You've incapacitated a pretty dangerous enemy. Yep. And that was and that's my turn, because I used my bonus action already. And my hits laughter. Okay. Now it's time for the null target dudes, as I've, as I've described them. Uh, I'm going to miss or something. The best part about the prone condition is that anyone who makes a melee attack against them will have advantage. Yeah, it's good. So you uh, want to put like a sass on fire attack? With all of that in mind, I'm going to have... Okay, some of the gnolls have... Uh, have these uh, large longbows strapped to them, and uh, the ones that do are moving up onto a ramp at the other side of the clearing, you know, all the way in the back. And uh, one of them is already there and is getting behind some cover, and it is it, and uh, the one next to it is going to shoot with them. Longbows. You know what that means? They can target you guys from so far away. And Hopefully. since it, and since they are targeting you guys from above, you know, they have the high ground, they are going to avoid the half cover that they would otherwise get from uh, having to shoot through people. I'm hiding behind a tree. Yes, well, uh... <laughs> you... See. With that in mind, they they can't target you, but they can target uh, they can target five 
other targets, so I'm going to roll a d5 for both of them. Eh. The first one got the a wizard three. yet again. The first one got a three, so that's that's Isaac. Oh no. Sorry. I don't make the rolls. I just I just do what they do. I'm gonna let it, I'll do it. Anyways. Okay, that's an eight. Misses. Oh man, I was so close. Six. Misses. I was even closer. Now, I rolled another d5. That's you again! Bring it on. <laughs> uh, that's a 14 to hit. Misses! That's very fortunate for you. Oh shit, that's a natural 20. Oh, that oh no! <laughs> Uh, your your speed is reduced by 10 feet until the end of your next turn, and also you take 14 damage. Ouch. Crap. Still, that, that was, wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Yeah. By the way, hideous laughter is concentration, so I'm going to need you to make a con save. Second. Um, my health real quick. There. Okay, con save. Okay. Second. Is this one. 13. Yeah, 13 myth. That, that, that's a 13. That, that makes it. Alright. Good job. Leo, it's your go. Alright. I think I'm gonna move one two over here. And then I'm gonna try to take a swing at the uh, entangled uh, null. Okay. And uh, it's a 12. Um, well, I it's do it's have a 17 Bardic since you have advantage, but yeah, that hits. Okay. Cool. And then, uh... Let's see how much damage this does. Yeah, I'm curious if I want a Divine Smite or not. Probably not. Eh, it's probably not necessary. Yeah, so... Oh Second. gosh, I don't know why all that <laughs> mumbo jumbo was there, yeah. but it's like slashing. Yeah, that is strange, <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> Uh, it's, okay. it's not dead. It, it is still holding on. Only er, only barely, but still. Ah, darn. Um, can I use my uh, Bardic Inspiration? Yes, or you can add to the damage. Alright, and that's a D8. Oof, that's not that much, but... That's still enough. The nice! The collapses, and the entanglement that uh, was trapping it fades it's away. Beautiful. And then I got a second attack, and my weapon has reached, so I'll attack the right. one in front of me. And... Okay. So 12. I'm sorry, did you roll? Yeah. Okay. Got a 12. 15. Or 15. Yeah. Oh, wait. No, a 12. I'm sorry. Yeah, because he's not prone. <laughs> not prone or restrained or anything. Yeah. Yep. You, you do that. Yep. Is it a hit? Yeah, it's a hit. Perfect. And then uh, I'm going to do uh, I'm going to add Divine Smite to it. So it should deal... Ah, oh, it's not that great either. Just six. Uh, that is six damage. Yeah, that still kills it. it, it <laughs> nice. It was a and weak then, slash, um... but it still bisected it somehow. <laughs> it must have been made out of very, very old bone. Yeah, <laughs> we'll take those. And then, um... Take those. <laughs> I think as a bonus action, I'll do, uh, Turn the Tide. Ooh, what's that? Which is, uh... I roll a d6 plus my uh, Charisma modifier, and all my allies within 30 feet get healed by that much. Ooh. Nice. Yep. That is everyone except for Ian. Yep. <laughs> He's not within 30 feet. <laughs> I'm yeah. sorry, Ian. Don't worry, I'll heal you later. <laughs> you're not a, so you're not a everyone good gets uh, to be close to him. eight hit points back. Eight nice. hit points. Wow. I will. Oops. Yeah, that is enough to bring the droid back to tip-top shape, and everyone else can update their uh, HP if they've lost any. 
Yeah. I took a bit. <laughs> Damage. Yeah. yeah. So as for the final, uh, final thing on the initiative count, <laughs> that would be the null normies, as I'm calling them. As in, they're <laughs> just regular gnolls, from what you can tell. Oh, um, when he gets to here, I have a uh, pull on mastery. Ah, shit. Yep. <laughs> I don't like where this is going. Yep, so I'll roll to hit. 15. 15. Yeah, that hits. Yep, and I'll use a uh, Divine Smite with this one as well. Oh, oh. Right through him like a true... Like a 17! 17. 17. <laughs> uh, yeah, that... That blighted him, and... He looks like he's... He, he kind of whimpers. Oh. Uh, and yeah, he stops because of a sentinel. Poor boy. So sad. <laughs> he just he just wanted to destroy humanity. Is that too much to ask? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that that, that kind of reminds me of the thing we did uh, a couple... Uh, a little while ago. Uh, one of us wasn't here, so we decided to... Uh, to get to Jazzy, our, our newest replacement, um, familiar, familiarized with <laughs> with uh, Roll20, so uh, we did a little training session, and uh, Ian did the funniest goddamn Akuma portion. It was amazing. <laughs> he did, it was beautiful. <laughs> Nagago in ancient Japan. I, Aku, master of all evil. Made a mockery of my own character God, for the delight of my <laughs> campaign. Okay, That's, good that is good. That, <laughs> good job. Anyways, <laughs> um, this knoll can still attack. The, the knoll you stopped, okay. instead of going up and hitting you, it is going to stand back and shoot at you. That's 16 to hit. That misses. Okay. As for these other two, they are going to attack the Steel Defender. That's a 19 to hit. Ooh. And that's 9 damage. Yeah, that sucks. Uh, and <laughs> the second one got a 7. That really sucks. Yeah. Anyways, uh, it's top of the round now. It's the Knoll's turn. The one that is currently still tied up, it is going to... It is going to... It's going to, uh, roll a d2, and it's going to attack the Steel Defender. It's tangled, so doesn't it have disadvantage? Yeah, but either way it'd have disadvantage, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yes, that is true. No, because I, I, I can't impose, he can't impose disadvantage against a creature if it's attacking him. Right, it's it's gonna it's gonna try to club it a few times. Uh, first one's a natural one. Second one's a uh, that's a, that's fifteen. I see, holy shit! Wow, that is impressive. Most impressive. <laughs> that's three damage. Okay, these other ones are are crowding around uh, that one. Thing is attacking who it's attacking. Uh, the first one got an eight on its first attack, and a natural twenty on its second. Oh, that's bullshit. <laughs> you may think I'm making this up, but no. Okay, that's seven damage. Okay, that is a. <laughs> sorry, that's a twenty. Th that, that, that's a twenty. I'm sorry for doing this to your friend, but that's a twenty oh, to hit. Again. And holy, holy crap! That's six damage. And he's down. All Why right, do I probably? The the, the gnolls have made quick work of that, and now that uh, it has done that. It can go oh, over shit. here and and make two 
two attacks now. Mm. Is making two attacks against uh, Leo here. Yeah. Since uh, he's the closest, of course. Uh, <laughs> the first one was a 15, and it's bonus action. Yeah, and it's bonus action bite attack is a 19. That misses. Yep. That shield of faith. Yep. <laughs> if I didn't have that, it would hit. <laughs> the druid is going to cast bark skin on himself. Good call. Yeah. <laughs> a very good call. Cast what on himself? Bark skin. It's, uh, bar it's essentially the druidic equivalent of mage armor. Oh, cool. Yeah. yeah, he does that and is going to move back a bit. He's helped thus far, but he himself doesn't want to get hurt. So, as for the Null Swoles thing, um. <laughs> uh, this one is still incapacitated, so yep. can't do much, but you do hear something. You hear a bump, bump, bump. And you see out of one of the buildings nearby, boom! Something appears. Uh-oh. Oh, gosh. Uh -oh. It looks like it's covered in ritual scars. And it's very shaggy. And looks very angry. Wang is a man. <laughs> Like Zoink Scoob! Looks like we've got an angry doll on our hands! <laughs> Very good. good that good. stuff. Good, good stuff. <laughs> okay. The the knoll here is is not close enough to attack, so <laughs> it is going to make a an improvised kick attack against the knoll next to it. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Get up! <laughs> exactly, that's that's what it's trying to do. Okay, that is... Uh-huh. That's about a 16. So, yeah, that hits. And I'm going to have it do... Okay, that deals 7 damage. As it swears in Abyssal, it delivers a hard kick into its side. And... And Noel's gonna try and make the save again, with advantage, since that's how a hideous laughter works. That's a 19. I guess that... I don't know. What, what was that? A 19 <laughs> uh, succeeds, uh, and now it is no longer affected by Tasha's. So okay. it is going to get up, and it is going to walk over to the I wizard. Know. Oh yeah, and I almost forgot. It it has a rechargeable ability it lose used on its last turn. It did not oh, get yeah. it back. Uh, sorry to interrupt. <laughs> I just gotta step away for like five seconds to answer the door. Eh, it's fine. You're not gonna sure. do anything okay, here. Anyways, now the knoll is going to hit with a glaive. Uh, that's a 24 to hit you. Fucking hell. Oh, that I, even with shield. Even with shield. Five damage. I'm gonna die a bunch of holes. Our wizard's gonna become Swiss cheese. <laughs> oh, I'll be fine. That, that's a 23. Shield! <laughs> <laughs> Gee, thanks, shield. I really appreciate it. Alright, you have a shield now. <laughs> Fuck, now it's angry. And now the mystery knolls are some shit. It's time to act. Another uh, building gets its door busted down. And what looks like an especially a uh, crazed, kind of mal malnourished knoll rushes out. Oh my 
God, Grandma, this one's not eating. <laughs> Grandma, Grandma, <you're> let. <laughs> well, at least she's feeding him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It cannot move close enough. So instead, it is going to just uh, move over here and uh, threaten Leo. Make make gnashing teeth sounds. Okay, charming. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. And one more thing. You hear a, a very ra loud rustling noise, and uh, you you can see some commotion in a tree just behind the building that that other one ran out of, and whoop! It looks like something has fallen out. Three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and now it's joined its brother. And is now threatening Leo. <laughs> Goodness. What is this bullshit? Yeah, the guys are just at at the bottom of the map and are <laughs> are being We haven't even moved. And now they're <laughs> now they're just running at you. <laughs> this will work. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh the, the, looks like the, that's the end of its turn, since uh the, none of them were able to do anything, so it'll be trance. Ooh, you want to cast uh, fire? Uh, fire? to make a dexterity save. Uh, which ones will have to make a dex save? All four of them. All four. Okay. I think you must make a dex save. Shit. Does that include Leo? No, it's not hitting Leo. Okay. I'm assuming it's hitting the two Noel Witherlings and uh, the two. Oops. It's hitting the big bad malnourished snow, which I'm going to feed, and the two witherlings. <laughs> what you gonna feed? <laughs> <laughs> feed them fire. Feed them fire, yeah. yeah. Malnourished. <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, <laughs> could you uh, highlight them? I, th I think they mean this one, this one. Oh, yeah, it's the forest in the box. Yep, okay. You confused me with uh, one of the things you said. I think I misheard you. Anyways, first, the, the first Witherling got a 16. That beats the AC. Uh, second one got a natural 1. That does not beat the AC. Yep. You can see it real well now. It's all shiny. Yep. And the the knoll with the knives and the man, the malnourished look gets an eleven. I have a feeling he's also glowing. Yeah, he's glowing. He's glowing really mm -hmm. well. And uh, put the grumpy pants. Uh, the fourth regular knoll is also lit up. Ah, uh, okay. I oh, can't hit that knoll, but I I can hit this knoll up here. Ah, oh, okay. I oh, can't hit that one. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, let me just undo that and... I, I want to hit the angry knoll. Of course you do. The knoll that's unique because it's red. That's a 13. He's, he's glowing. Yep. Uh, hey, look, <clears throat> this is the glowing malnourished knoll. Oh, does one that cost the, an action? One of the great wonders of the world. It does cost <laughs> an action, so I'm going to use a bonus action to focus on this guy, all the way at the top. All the way at the top? Okay. All the way up. And my movement... Well, I can't see over here. I want to move over this one. Okay. If you may, sir, I would like the map revealed. I want oh. to run! Okay, I will reveal some more of the map. Here I'm you go. Here. Grandma's hiding there. Okay. Can't see her anywhere. <laughs> hiding her. Oh shit, I can be seen. 
They, they can, pay, I mean, pay no attention to grandma. <laughs> pay no attention to grandma. <laughs> she just lost her favorite toy. Pay no attention to the thief behind the screen. <laughs> Quickly, where's my cloak? Don't worry, guys. Don't worry, Grandma, the wizard will distract him. <laughs> <laughs> Ow, you're doing a great job. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyways, it's now Kalos' okay. turn, and I will have him move over by, uh, move over to the right next to the tree, and he's getting a good look at, uh, these angry gnoll, angry gnolls with the swords. And it is, he is going to cast Spiritual Weapon. And he is going to hit the Glowing Knoll. Let's see how much... Let's see if we can hit a Glowing Target. Excuse me, I'm going to... I'm sorry, I normally don't do this, but... Let's see here. Okay, that is a 17 for 11 damage. Good god. I have returned. Okay, that promptly, that promptly bloodies that knoll. And... Kalos is now going to cast Eldritch Blast on both of them. The first one in front... That is a 10, which misses. And the one behind it, that is lit up. That's a 9. So, yeah, that that misses as well. So it looks like uh, it's Ian's turn. Ooh, how delightful. Hang on a second, that little guy up there. Nice stuff with the sparkles, right? Yeah. Excellent. And my shield won't go away until the end of this turn, so... <sighs> Bonus action. Conjure the Shadow Blade. And now I'm gonna walk right up to him. And I'm gonna Omaiwa all over his Shindeu. Not, not, not quite yet. You, get, you, gotta, you gotta be aware of the fact that uh, you get an opportunity attack against you. Oh, I'm fine with that. Okay. I'm I... gonna Omaiwa ma all over his Shindeu. Just, we'll be fine. You said that. Now, that's a 21 to hit. Misses. Uh-huh. And now, with advantage, with green flame blade. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh, <no! laughs> what are the odds? Now, what are both? What are the odds? Why did you guys uh, that? Two net ones. <laughs> you conjure the shadow blade. Uh, Two now ones. You cast green flame blade. Uh, the green and the black, they start forming together, <laughs> and before before they make contact, uh, they they just puff out. And you you swing a shattered blade in the direction of the big knoll. And, and the big knoll like, looks at oh. you confusedly, and. Uh, it seems like it's asking you a question, but unless you know Abyssal, you don't know what he's trying to say. I just look right at him like, you know, I really thought that would go differently. So <laughs> can we? <laughs> and, and you can take it down the edges. <laughs> First time I have advantage, and every single time, every single time, I get a crit on the other roll. I'm like, God, I wish I had advantage. God, I wish I had advantage. I would roll eight d eights on this man. Okay, let's let's all okay. calm down. Let's calm down. No, it's funny though. So. Um, okay. Um, Isaac. I'm sorry. That was hilarious. Yeah, that was okay. that was definitely interesting. All right. Uh, <laughs> here's something that might help. Here, Ian, have a bardic inspiration. Hooray! He's not here, but I I'll let him know. <laughs> well, oh, I'm down here. Okay. okay. Um, what should I do now? Hmm. I'm going to have him. Let's see, I need to look at what this does again. So let's see. Okay, I'm not... 
Yeah, I'm gonna use healing word on a. Oh, I'm thinking I should put. put it on. I don't know. Um. Can you hold actions in this, or is that? Something else? Uh, yes, you can. But it'll count as concentrating on a spell, so. No. Okay. Um. I'm gonna use vicious mockery on the big on the big guy, the red one. Okay. Okay, you tell him. I don't know. If you you want to say his mom's ugly or something? <laughs> say something even funnier. Um. All right. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I'm gonna probably just go with that. I, I really couldn't think of a insult for once. Okay. Well, he rolled a 12, so whatever you said, it hurt his feelings. So that so does that mean he gets it? Or? Yeah, he, he fails. Fails. Okay, so I didn't roll that one a one a four. So three. He takes three damage. I'm pretty sure it's two d four since he level five. Oh really? Okay, let's roll another one then. Five damage. Yep. You will take five damage. All right. Uh, I use my bonus action to give the uh, this inspiration on Ian, so that means I'm, that's it for me. Okay. Cool. Oh, the way I, I do, I want to move a little bit. Okay, you can do that. There, John Cover. Cool. And that means looking at. It looks like this one can see you. This one can see you. Okay. I'm looking at the sight lines of the three archers. And I, I can see that the first one can target three people. I will roll to determine which one that the first one shoots. That is a one, that's a druid. Okay, the druid is being targeted. Ah, oh, crap. Poor druid. Get behind the wall! That's a six. No way, man. Walls are a force of society. I don't believe in walls. I'm gonna shoot you next. That's a six. <laughs> oh, man. They got a 17, man. That goes through, man. <laughs> the last... Okay. The freaking druid survived two multi attacks from an owl bear. This week he's just getting his ass beat by gnolls. Yeah. Okay. Oh man, I just thing. took eight damage and now and now I can't run so good, man. And also I gotta make a con save, man. Well gee, that's on you, man. He rolled an eighteen. Ah, oh, good guy. Good lad. He's fine. Now, the second one... I keep double-checking. <clears throat> okay, one, two, three... Okay, he can see four people. I should have moved a little he, bit more. <laughs> he can't see you, don't worry. He can see me. Yep. It looks <laughs> like he will be targeting... Leo. Alright. Not the wizard! <laughs> Not <know>. me! <laughs> I know, right? That's a 23. Ah, <laughs> uh, that hits. Yeah, okay. Uh, your speed is reduced by 10. Okay. And you, 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 you get 8 damage dealt to you. Alright. And the second one was a 16, so that misses. Uh, that, yep. As for the third one, it is in a particular spot where, uh, you can see, you can see Kalis, you can see Leo, you can see the Druid, and it can sort of see, uh, it can sort of see Isaac, Isaac, but I would say he's in half cover, and he can also see Ian. Eh. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. I will roll a D5 for him. Uh, looks like he'll be targeting Leo as well. <laughs> <laughs> that's a nine. You're, you're, and, you're a great guy. Yeah, and that's a seventeen. Thanks. Yeah. Nothing hits. How, how much do they pay me to put up with this bullshit? <laughs> they gave me. 
It gave me the two dollar bill. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah, because I imagine Leo with a Jamaican accent. <laughs> I, I, I don't I don't know where that's coming from, but okay. Leo? I'm, I'm so happy. All right. Um, I guess I'll uh, strike the uh, like uh, one that gnashed its teeth at me that's glowing. Yeah, I, I would do the same thing. Yep. So that's oh well seventeen. Yeah. And then. I'm trying to think if I want to use a level 2 Divine Smite. I'll just do level 1. Uh, 12. Uh, 12, that, that kills it. Nice. It remains oh, glow yeah. for a moment before dissipating, and now it's crumpled on the uh, grass. And now you still have a second attack, so... Yep. And, um... I think I'll, uh, go for the one that's, uh, to the top left of me, the skelly. That makes sense. That's a 25, because he's going. Yeah, that's real good. Yep. And, uh, I'll just make it a regular attack this time. Yeah, it's already bloodied. Yeah. So that's four slashing. Yep, that takes it down. All right. And then, uh, I think I'll try to uh, turn the tide again. Oh, okay. Another one? Yeah. Okay. How much- Yeah, it's a, uh, Paladin, uh, class specific. Yeah, let's see how much, uh, you are able to heal people. Yep. D6 plus 3, it's 7. Nice. Okay. Within, uh, 30 feet, so I think even Ian gets the heal, too. Oh, hell yeah. Yep. That's really good. Yep. Looks like people are doing a lot better. So now it is the regular Knoll's turn. One of them... One of them actually... Another one actually shows up uh, in uh, one of the farther away buildings. Uh, it looks kind of sleepy. It rubs its eyes and yawns. And it looks out and it's like... <sighs> it, it looks really... It looks really disappointed. I never noticed to shoot that goal. I don't know why I want to shoot him. Oh no, this so lazy. <laughs> this one, I don't know, he seems kind of cute. We should adopt him. We'll call them Revel 2. Hey, Revel see, there 2. We go. Reveler. Yeah. <laughs> Reveler. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Reveler. And it looks like uh, there are now two gnolls. <laughs> That's a. Uh, that's around the big knoll attacking Kian. And also oh, crap. another one is attacking Leo. Alright. Um, Ian, um, did you hear yeah. the bar of inspiration? No, I did not, but that's awesome. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> you also have a knoll poten potential too, so I'm gonna about that. Right. And remember it's one D eight, not one D six. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Excellent. Good stuff. Now, the sleepy knoll uh, picks up its longbow. In with a very, very loud yawn that kind of sounds like a battle cry. It shoots Leo. <laughs> Yay! Can't shoot me, bitch. That's a 12. Yep, misses. Uh, okay. And the one that is currently attacking Leo is mm -hmm. going to stab forward and. That's pretty disappointing. That's that's only a 17. Mm. You know, only a 17 to attack <laughs> the paladin. <laughs> and now the two attacking Ian. The first one got a uh, 6. Ah. The second one got a 23. Shield! <laughs> I was I was going to say, of don't course. laugh if you're going to jinx course. the next roll. <laughs> and this one, that... This one that's also, that's been chilling by the archers, it's like, oh, I want to be an archer too, except it says, he, except he says it like, <laughs> he, he, he shoots at Leo too, for six. Nice. Yeah, you're okay. Yep. Top of the round, the skellies are attacking again. 
wait a minute, I just thought of something. What? Entangle is... Oh, shit. Duration is concentration? Uh-oh. Eh, whatever. This He's one a very is skilled free. Player. He realized... He didn't realize at first that uh, the uh, the vines had become inert. And uh, finally he realized and has, has managed to free himself. So now, that skeleton is going to attack one of you two, uh, either Isaac or the druid, and, and the second one is going to attack the druid. Uh-huh. Seems to be. And let's see which one the first one will attack. He will attack the druid. Yeah, that's that's not enough to beat a 16. And that is. So the second attack hits, at the very least. That's four plus two, that's five damage. A zoink scoob, it looks like I got hit. And he lost concentration, so his bark skin is down. Like Zoinks, man! Our druid isn't doing too good! <laughs> yeah. The, okay, that's eight. Eight to hit him, that fails. And that's a natural one. So the druid is still okay. Hooray. It looks like, uh... Okay, he is going to... He's going to panic and uh, cast Jaleli and then bonk the one right in front of him. That's a seven. You have to hit the phone, you can't just pass through them. Yeah. So, unfortunately, that fails. The null here is going to have to decide between attacking Isaac or attacking Ian along with the rest of them. Oh boy! <laughs> oh no! Oh gosh, oh, you're no. surrounded by four nulls. You're being. And now, the null with the glaive is going to slash at you. That's a 21 to hit. Misses. Oh yeah. You have that shield on you, do ya? <laughs> he does! Yeah, I do. That's a 13. And also, I forgot about the whole insight thing. Okay. Didn't get it back. Mm -hmm. And now, the scarred one is going to attack you. First, he is going to bite you. Try. That's a 21. This is. Yeah, you're you're getting lucky. Well, that and you got shield. Eleven and fourteen. This is. Okay, you're being a great dodge tank. I gotta say. <laughs> Blade singer is my guy. Yep. And now. The. I'm gonna. Oh my god! I'm gonna make my most cursed meme now. Oh boy! Uh, <laughs> Yay! The dual... Okay, the dual sword. Uh... Wait, the dual spear? Wait, no, I'm looking at the wrong one. I'm looking at the wrong stat block. Okay. Uh, <laughs> this one has two short swords and is going to attack with both of them and a bite. Let's do the bite first. That is an, eight, an 18 to hit. But it's attacking Leo, so of course it doesn't. <laughs> well, what's before his ass, sir? Two net ones. <laughs> I'd be so dead if I wasn't a tank. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah. Okay, the second one is a six. And that's also a six. Phew. You're very thankful for that infusion, aren't you, Leo? Yeah, <laughs> very, very much. <laughs> that so. plus one is great. <laughs> yep. Hit... Yeah. You also have shield 12. of faith, which is really good. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Uh, My level 12 that turns into a plus two. Yep. Lady Trance is your go. Can you shoot things? 
Oh gosh. I, I'm focused on this knoll right here, which means I can shoot at him, regardless of ranger. Yay! Okay. Bullet! Oh fuck. <laughs> yeah, that's neat. <laughs> I, I don't even know which one you're trying to target, but that misses. I'm annoyed. Um, I'm gonna target this one next. I got two I more bullets. Oh, okay. Which one? Bullshit. Um. Uh, Grandma swears. Uh huh. That, that's that's a good use of your time. Kayla's is going to attack the blade wielding one. He gets a twenty-three. That's real good. Ah, damn. I keep dropping my dice. <laughs> I'm gonna have to mute myself for a second. Ian. You should think about this yes. beforehand. Yeah. To like that meme where it's. Just... Uh, I just okay. love the fact that you turn out once. Okay, uh, okay, I got it. I got eight damage. Oh? Yep, that's that's solid. Wait a minute. No, that's nine damage. I'm sorry. I must have been mistaken. But in any case, that's it. Uh, Kalos can also do another Eldritch Blast. So, I... Hmm. Mm. You know what? I will not have him do that. Instead, I will have him cast another leveled spell. He is going to cast Guiding Bolt. Cool. The Guiding Bolt will target the one he just attacked. Let's see if we can finish it off. Uh, that should be a... 14, and that hits. Just barely. Good lord. Uh, 5, 11. Okay, I can stop rolling. <laughs> he throws a bolt of pure light at the gnoll, and the gnoll, uh, the gnoll takes it hard. It stabs into him, and he falls down. The light disappears. And now, it's Ian's go. Okay, so let's try this again. Remember, you got your your inspiration as well. I do, I do have that as well. Do us know potential. So, what are you gonna do? Green flame blade at advantage. Yes! Nice. yes. Oh my god! And that that is a natural twenty. Again. Um, let me just expend Aaron, that new one. Can I expend that note of potential uh, now? Yeah, <laughs> do, do, do it. it. You're surrounded by enemies. Do it. If do one it. of these guys, before I even join, do I'm going to laugh my ass off. We're not, not going to die yet. Oh, oh shit! My God. So oh. many dice. <laughs> okay, 88 plus 2d6 plus 4. That is 47. <laughs> How about you? Oh, have my God. More damage with the no oh, destruction. Boy. <laughs> or even the liberation, too. <laughs> it hit him so hard. He got knocked back. Boom. And then every idiot around me takes that 8 damage from the node destruction, which is amazing. It's, it's beautiful. How much damage? Uh, 2d6 amounted to 8. So. No, it's it's a 1d8 for the. Um, for oh, is the, it? Um, node Never mind then. For the inspiration. So I should, I should have rolled 2d, an extra 2d8 then. Oh my god. What? Hang on. It's one eight. Because uh, because the crit doubles the amount of dice rolled. Oh yeah, another two eight. Oh yeah, I, I guess I guess that's true. Um, so okay, add the two d eight, I guess. Ten. It's the same. Oh no, it's not. It's, it's slightly more. Okay. Uh, -huh. uh the, the 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 big knoll is even more hurt, and the other two. Uh -huh. They're gonna have to no. make saves, right? I think so. Yeah, no destruction. I got, I got a look. Um, at the, um, I, I think it's con saves. Mm -hmm. I'll post Should it right now. I'll, I'll, I'll post it again. Yeah, I think it was con saves. No destruction. Okay, that's. First one got a 4, the other got a 13, so they both fail. Yep. 
They're checking the thunder damage. Yeah. And uh, the big one, the original Swole Knoll, got a 16. So he takes half? I think none. Oh, okay. Whatever. Yeah. And yeah. then for my bonus action. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> misty gonna be... step I'm gonna misty step over here. Uh, for the moment, it's take so a lot brutal. of the Jacksepticeye! <laughs> Oh, he, he, he says he he says something, but he, you you don't know. Looks like <laughs> bark bark bark. We <laughs> 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 have. Okay, I'm just gonna call I it mean... now. My shadow blade looks like a dark saber from the Mandalorian. Nice. <laughs> guys... I'll allow it. Okay. Um, I I <laughs> I suppose if Rebel were here, uh, <laughs> she might be able to translate it, but. Looks a bit uh, confused by what you just said. Like it kind of <laughs> understands, but not really. <laughs> now, uh, Isaac. Okay. Um, next, I'm gonna give um, my bonus action, Bardic Inspiration, to Way Triance. Yes. We've been having nice. a little bit of trouble shooting, so. <laughs> Grandma's and... eyesight isn't great. <laughs> 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 and then I'm gonna use my rap. I'm gonna use my rap getting... here. Sorry, rap here against this one. You got him. I G. I wonder. Definitely has him. The wizard is slowly 11 getting closer. Eleven piercing. To the Ooh. Dead. That, thing, that thing's dead. Yep. <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> and now, uh. Now that you've done that, would you like to do anything else? Um, yeah, I'm gonna move over here, where it's e a little harder for the other one to hit me. Okay. And as my double bonus action, I'm gonna flip off the other one. <laughs> <laughs> He's old enough. <laughs> Good enough. That's, He's old enough to know what that, that means. That's nice. Um, okay. He's talking to me. And now, uh, the three target dudes have gotten tunnel vision because they just saw something pretty crazy. And now they're they are all going to attack the wizard. <laughs> That's a 19. Shield. <laughs> that is an amazing ability! <laughs> That's 12. How many small do you have left in? Six. 17. 9. You avoided all of them. <laughs> nice. Okay, Leo. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna... Because he's within 10 feet, I'm gonna stab the uh, skeleton uh, no. Okay. Ooh, 25. 25, okay. Yep, I'm gonna make sure it doesn't have thing checked. No, it doesn't. This is just regular. Seven slashing. It dies. Ooh, nice. And then uh, I'll strike the guy to uh, my upper right. Uh, that's a 23. Okay, that hits. Yep. And then I'll add just one level. My divine smite. You won't. You probably won't need to do that because it's bloodied. But uh, if you want. Okay. I'm, I'm, right, gonna, I'll I'm gonna tell you how much it has, but you know it's bloodied. It's regular. Nine slashing. Okay, that kills it. Alright. As for the remaining gnolls, uh, they are going to come oh. over here and attack you, right. Leo. Um, this one I'll use a polar mastery when he's like right here. Okay. Nice. Okay, 22. 22, real yep. good. And then I'll add Divine Smite to it. That's uh, 15. Okay. There we go. It, it couldn't even hit you. Couldn't even try. Couldn't even get close. Oh, it tried. How dare you, crush his <laughs> dreams. It tried. Alright, the, the one that got close got an 8. Yeah, that misses. 
uh, the one that is next to Ian is going to roll its eyes, pull out its spear, and and it got a 17. And what the hell is it? oh, okay. And the one next to the archer is like, oh, I still want to be one too. And it got a 12 to hit you, Ian. So yeah, the skeletons are no more. So we can move them. Uh, Drew is like, hey man, is, it, is anyone hurt? Heal yourself. Nah, man, I'm all good. And then he casts Spark Skin on himself. I have a feeling he was in the worst condition. Yeah, I think so too. I... Yeah. He was matrixing everything. <laughs> I'm hiding behind a tree and I, Ian's way up there. He hides next to yeah. Isaac. And now... Uh, one of the gnolls is going to is going to sneak over and attack Kalis. I don't even know what's Kalis's AC. Okay, um, uh, that's fifteen. I'm assuming that this is uh, probably. Uh, yes, his AC is seventeen, and that is a twenty-two. And he takes 13 damage. Ouch. Mm. Ooh, ooh. Okay, that is a good deal of health taken from him. And now we'll have to roll a con save because Shield of Faith is still up. That's a 9, so Shield of Faith is no longer up. Oh my. And that's mm. about it for that one. And the other one is going is going to attack while uh, your back is turned Ian that's an 8 for the bite that's a 22 for the claws and that is a 24 for the second one Ian right there Ian, you take 11 damage. Ian? Yeah, you're muted if you're talking. Ian. 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 He's muted. Hello? What is happening? Hello. You're taking damage. There we go. You, you are Second muted. You, I got a 24 to hit you. Oh, Jesus. Ah, uh, that, that, that. One thing hits me. That's, that is 24. That takes 11 damage. <laughs> One of these things will hit. <laughs> Hang on, let me just... Hang on, let me make my con save really quick. That's a good idea. Okay, that's, that's a 10. Good job. I did it. <laughs> <laughs> I got the minimum. Yeah, the, the mystery gnolls yeah. are now deceased. So now it's Lady Trains' turn. I can fuck in this time now that I have inspiration. Uh, you can do it, Grandma. Just, just, just fire away. I, I guarantee you adding a, D, a D8 isn't going to help. Is it a D8 or a D6? D8. It's a D8, yeah. I don't think that's going to help. Try, try at least. Might as well. Okay, it was oh, a 15 hit. 15? Uh, yeah, that's gonna hit. How, which one are you attacking again? This one. Okay, that's... Oh, I, I rolled I rolled low for damage. Wait, you can see that? Oh, uh, no, probably not doing that, actually. 15. Okay. Half left. Yeah. That's yeah. where hit. Okay, you hit it with a 15, and 7 piercing. That's real good. Go for me. What else? Flipping off the knolls and hiding behind my tree. How courageous! <laughs> <laughs> Grandma's had a bad day. Oh, poor Kalis Grandma. Is going to move the spiritual weapon between him and the knoll attacking him. 
That is a 24 to hit for 10 damage. And now he is going to he is going to cast Eldritch Blast, but first he's going to move over here. He targets the one he just hit, as well as uh, the remaining Null that is currently in melee with Leo. That is a 17 to hit the swollen one. And that's two damage. <laughs> and a little bit the, to hit the regular one, that's an 11, so that misses. Okay then, Ian. Yeah. Wonderful. I know exactly what I'm gonna do, actually. So, or this idiot behind me. Time for yet another adventure into green flaming the shadow blade. <laughs> <laughs> now one again. Yeah, that's ah, but advantage 18 to hit. Yeah. Oh, good, good, good on you for remembering that. Um. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm not forgetting that. <laughs> You obliterate him. I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna remove him. Nice. Out. How do you kill it? <laughs> yeah, I, I would, I'd like to ask that. How, how does, how exactly do you obliterate this man? Hmm. Since I'm facing the, since I'm facing the one that was, this one here. Since I'm facing it, I like to presume that I just kind of, two hands stabbed it behind me, right into its chest, just. <laughs> Oh man. And it goes Ooh, and that explodes. Hooray! And now for my opponent's action, I'm gonna make an offhand attack with a hand axe. Ooh. I I'm not quite sure how this will go. I'm definitely curious. This should be fun. That's a ten, so That is a ten. Not as awful as I thought. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So it missed. But it wasn't a bad miss, so. All right. Then. Yeah, I I can wield like a master. Uh, Isaac. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so instead of bardic inspiration, this time I'm gonna use my one of my bonus uh, my bonus action to uh, use healing ward on Wheel. He's not looking so good. Is oh, I've only good? got one damage on me. Oh really? Okay, yeah. Um, Ian then. Hey, Ian. You? To the health. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. yeah. I'm gonna use healing word on you. Uh, let's see. What should I? Oh yeah, no, I, I heard, I heard that. Like, hell yeah. All right. Let's see, I'm trying to decide on which level of spell I want to use. How much healing do you, do you need exactly? I don't really need a lot, honestly. I'll just use a regular level one spell then. That's fine. Five healing. Thank you very much, my friend. And I still got my regular action. And... You said bonus actions can be used as regular actions, right? Yes. That's correct. I'm gonna give that last broken inspiration away. Um... Who to give it to, though? I'm... I'm, I'm actually just, I'm more leaning towards giving to Trinos again, because she's kind of not hitting her shots. Woohoo, I gotta shoot more things! Yeah. Yeah, that's good okay, too. Okay, but you gotta see her, so you may need I to got, reposition I'll, yourself. I'll, I'll repeat, I'll, I'll do that, yep. It's really Over. easy. I'll move up here. Still see, I can see her, right? Sort of. Can I see her, sort of? Three uh, in the way. No. no, okay, I'm gonna. That's where I was, and... Actually, if you got right to here, you should be able to see her. Crap. I might as well just attack, then. Um, yeah, I'm gonna just attack. I'm, I'm gonna... If I'm gonna go all the way up to here anyways, I might as well just attack that thing. Alright, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use my rapier. here. Okay. that thing. Oh. Misses. Mm -hmm. Dang. I should use the inspiration. Oh well. <laughs> I don't have to concentrate on the spell anymore. Hooray! 
<laughs> okay then, no target dude time. I am in trouble now. Now that, now that Ian no longer has that shield, a natural twenty is going to hit. Oh boy. Ah. Uh, this is what you get for overextending. That's a seven, and <laughs> your speed is reduced by half, by uh, ten feet. Okay. And I go from 40 feet to 30 feet. Yeah. And that is a... I don't know. Okay, uh, does a 20 beat your AC? I, I'm pretty sure it does at this point. Not, not when I shield! <laughs> you gotta do that again. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna do that again. Okay, the other two... Oh the other two are going to attack Isaac instead. Yeah, for me. That's a 10. Misses. That's a 20... That's a 22. Ah, uh, darn. Okay. That's 10 damage. Ouch. And that's 20 to hit. Ouch. Mm, that's 7 damage. Second, so just 4 and minus 7, 24 minus 7, I, 17. I think I've only rolled 3 attacks against you. So that that's the third one. It's 8. Misses. And 18. Hits. 3 damage. Okay. Okay then, Oof. Leo. Alright. I'll start uh, attacking the uh, Nola next to Isaac. Oof, that's not a great one. Nine. Yeah, attack again. Alright. That's that's really the best option. Uh, twelve? A twelve misses as well, so... Oof. Alright, uh... This uh, bonus action, I will use. Um, turn the tide again. Again? Okay. Yep. That's that five is... HP to everyone. That's five. Awesome. Thank you. Welcome. It's quite a bit of damage. Yeah. This time I was the blind one. <laughs> okay. Um. The knoll is going to decide. Oh wow, it's going to attack the big guy. That's smart of it. I see. <laughs> um, um, so quill. Yeah. Um, it never meant. It never said I needed the BLC them with Spark Inspiration before. Like, oh. It never said. That. Like I've never had that as a requirement. That's strange. What do you? Like it, Bark Inspiration is just. It's like is a resource basically yeah. it has no description it doesn't say anything about having to see no huh that's my mistake then i'm assuming at least see i i i am going to read it again I'm... do well in any case that's a 9 to hit leo also um has it been 10 minutes in battle yet no i would okay, be 10 cool. minutes okay cool uh, I I was I wasn't counting turns. <laughs> Just uh, keeping track of the uh, uh, shield of faith. Ah, uh, it's right. It doesn't say. It says who can who can hear you, not who can who you can see. Okay then. It was a mistake then. Uh, okay, as for the one that's attacking Ian, that's a six. <laughs> nope. As for the one that's with the archers, is going to shoot at Isaac. That's a 23. Can you make this one, one miss because you made a mistake? Say again? Can you make this one miss because you made that mistake? Making me look on the open? But, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Um, that hits. You only take two damage. <sighs> okay. It's the druid's turn. It is going to... It's going to go over and it's going to ask you, you okay? Do you need healing? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty hurt. Okay, here you go, man. And he's going to uh, cast Cure Wounds, and that's nine hit points. Back to you. Plus nine. Oh, good, he's up, up a little bit more than he... Good, he's a 26 now. And he is going to finish by moving over here, away from the scary knoll that's now going to attack Leo. 
That's a natural one. <laughs> and that's a 24. Uh, 24 hits. And that's 11. The duality damage. of name. Alright. That's how much that damage? 11. Yep. And as for Lady Trance, uh, what would you like to do? Not back bullet. That, you don't need much inspiration yet. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. You could use it for damage. There's the average. I didn't do it yet. Okay. With my knockback bullet. Okay, that's that bloodies it, and let's see. Uh, it fails, so it's it's falling prone. <laughs> Yay, hide behind the tree! Hey. <laughs> that's all I'm gonna do. Pop out and shoot him. Okay. Careless? Kalos is going to, uh... Kalos is going to go over here. He's going to have the spear to up and attack again. And that's 11, so that misses. And he's going to move over here and cast Eldritch Blast. Eldritch Blast. Wash. The one... <laughs> Eldritch Blast! <laughs> <laughs> it's a new spell I just made up. Uh... <laughs> Let's see, a uh, 16 to attack the closest one, and that is break his arm damage. If you break his arm, you can put him in an Eldritch cast. Uh, <laughs> okay, and that's a tw that's 12 that misses. Okay, that's that's it for Kalos' turn. Ian. <laughs> Ian. Ian. Swiggity swooty! Yeah. Swiggity swooty indeed. Hey. Poor guy in front of me is now gonna taste the wrath of the green flame shadow blade. Which is <laughs> you need to. Such, a, <laughs> such a horrendously edgy title, but you know. Yeah. Was it 25 to hit? Does that hit? Uh -huh. Yep. Okay, just double checking, you know, just, just in case. Uh, he's gonna be taking... 11 damage. <laughs> and for my next trick, I offhand attack with a hand axe. Yeah, I'm sure that natural one would be better if you uh, had a higher strength score, but. Probably. <laughs> yeah, otherwise. Isaac? Yeah, okay, so now I can. Ian's within 60 feet of me, and you can hear me. Right? You hear, you hear what I'm gonna say? I can indeed hear what you're about to say. Bark inspiration. Fuck oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's my last one. And I get them back on a short rest, not just a long one. <laughs> so let's see, I, I have my other thing. I'm, I'm gonna attack with my rapier against this guy. Mm -hmm. 25, does that hit? Yes. <laughs> and he has Six three damage. hit points, so yeah. Six damage, uh -huh. he's dead. Anything else? Um, yeah, I'm gonna move out of the way. Okay, let's see. Out the way. Yeah. Let's see how much do I do? I'm going back here. <laughs> mm -hmm. And now the <laughs> the null the knolls that have been shooting at you this whole time. Uh, the one that was knocked down gets back up again because you're never gonna keep him down. <laughs> <laughs> it now is going to shoot at Ian. That is a 23. And you know what? I'm not gonna shield that one. I only have one spell slot left. I'll take it. I'm f I'll be fine. That's three damage. I'll be fine. Excellent. Okay. Uh, and that's a 7. And that's a 19. I'll also take that one. I'll be fine. 6 damage. I'll be fine! That's, that's, that's a 15. That misses. That's a 13. That misses. That's a 12. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Ah, ah. Okay, Leo? Alright. I try to hit the swole knoll. Mm -hmm. Oof. 
and, and eight is not good enough. Yep. Uh, I'll try again. Twenty-one. Yeah. Uh, should I use divine smite? Uh, I, 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 I should point out he's not bloody, so. Yeah. Eh, why not? <laughs> Make this uh, level three. That's twenty-four. <laughs> Down. Dead. Alright. And then movement. Um one, two, three, four, five, six. I was going to any four. And mm -hmm. then uh Yeah, I think that's it. Yep. Alright, the final remaining Noel. He is going to try and run away. Let's just see if he's running. Did he disengage? Yeah, he's he's right. uh, he is uh he is dashing, not disengaging, so Ah, uh, an opportunity attack. I am opportunity attacking him. Fortunately, I cannot green flame blade the opportunity attacks anymore. That was nerfed. Does yeah, a 14 hit him? Uh, no. Oh, really? Yeah. Not quite. Oh, you little... Oh, you little oh, bastard. Wait, oh, wait, 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 yeah! Burning inspiration! <laughs> oh, my... It's a okay. 16 hit! Yes. Hey! Nice! <laughs> you can notice the coming clutch my guy. twice. See, I, I, that's, a good, those are, that's a good ability, isn't it? <laughs> Very good ability. Hey, 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 take a. And I can have my Nota Destruction there, so let's uh, take 15 points of damage. 17 points. <laughs> yep. <laughs> good stuff. It's like I'm about to about to miss, but in the back of my mind I think of the sad face Isaac would make, I'm like, HELL NO! <laughs> okay. I like you, no mercy! <laughs> the Noel over here is like... The Noel's like, oh... Oh no, I'm not, I'm not a real archer, I'm so sad, and he runs away. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, okay then. The druid is like, Alright, man. Looks like they were taught peace and love, finally. But through a force? I don't understand. This is real weird. I'm gonna have to lie down after this. So he does nothing. Uh, Lee Trace, <laughs> do you want to do anything else? Is this guy still prone? Uh, no. Oh. <clears throat> he should learn to stay down. Yeah. <laughs> he takes five more points of piercing to the face. Yep. Head? Uh, five damage is enough to kill him, yes. Head shot. Okay. I'm going to shoot it, it's going to go through his jaw, and you just see this big mist come out of the back of his head. Ooh. That's, that's brutal. Okay, anything else? Run, Grandma, run! <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, Kalos? Kalos is going to move forward and be like, uh, I, I can't imitate... <laughs> I can't imitate Omni's voice. Yeah, shame. He, he had a very distinct way of speaking. Mm -hmm. um, he really did. Oh yeah. uh, man, it looks like we're gonna do this. Finally. And I, I guess he shoots at uh, the gnolls with Elch Blast. Oh jeez, Rick. We're, we're shooting hyenas. It's, it's really crazy. Okay. Shut up, man. First Shaggy, then Rick. Morty, fuck. Morty, 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 Morty. I'm, I'm gonna need you to take this last cell pot. I'm gonna need you to cast a fireball right over there. Ian can't, uh, my... he doesn't know fireballs, so... Yeah, you can... What do you want to do? You wanna... Movement speed still reduced. Yeah, I remember okay, that. Okay, then I only make it to here. Mm-hmm. My bonus action. I'm gonna throw the Shadow Blade right at this guy. Okay. Easy. Oh boy. 21. Yeah, okay. And I'm assuming this is going to do a lot of damage. Let's see how much damage exactly. That's 13 damage. That's just enough. Mm hmm. Perfect. And now I'm going to need this one here to make a dexterity saving throw. Okay. Uh, it rolled a 4. Fails. I'm using catapult on the hand axe. <laughs> it takes 14 points of damage as it flies right into his chest. Ooh. 
Yeah, that hurt. Ian, stop taking my kills. <laughs> 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 okay, That'll work. Um, Isaac? Yeah, okay. Isaac's um, out of Bardic Inspirations, but he can still um, do the rest stuff. So, let's see. I'm going to move him up a little bit. Hopefully, yeah, over here. Okay, over here, I think it was. And... What do I do now? Um, I'm going to heal myself. And... I didn't use my bo my, my regular action record yet, right? Uh, you have not, I suppose. Okay, yeah. Okay, so I'll, I'll use Cure Wounds on myself. Woo! <laughs> Yeah, I definitely need it. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna cast it at level two. Ten health back. Ten health, okay. So now he's, now he's good. Okay, the bonus yeah. action time. All right, I'm gonna this, and then I'm gonna. Hmm, I don't think I have the range with it for anything, so. I'm gonna just hold. Can I hold a bonus action? I probably can't. Uh, not really. All right. Well, I'll just. Yeah, I'm not gonna do anything. I got the okay fails. then. It is now the final null target man's turn, and he is going to run. He is going to belly flop onto the ground, and he is going to get up and keep running. <laughs> That's so. I was Damn. going to have more, like, partway through, I was going to uh, have additional waves show up, you know, from the sides. Mm -hmm. Because I sort of assumed you guys would be he heading up to attack the uh, archers. But at this point, um, this is going on for a while, and we don't only have so much longer to do this. And yeah. we have to introduce a new player, so... Good With point. that, uh, I will pronounce this the end of the combat, and I will, I will summarize what happens next. Excellent. The the druid that has been following you uh, offers his serious gratitude at doing so. He explains that uh, the gnolls were uh, were a small pack that have recently been causing trouble uh, around the forest. They have been scared off by uh, some of their uh, displays of force, but it seems like they took this opportunity to uh, to hang out and wreck the place. And uh, he explains that, uh, well, I suppose I'll go into his uh, own speech. Hmm, man. After this, I think we're going to have to, at the very least, call off our protests. I mean, we're going to have to clean up around here. I'm pretty sure that one house is still burning. He looks over and like, yep, it's still burning. Anyways, I suppose you guys can't just leave here empty-handed, so uh, hang on, I'm going to go get something. Oh, boy, thank you. He goes oh, yeah. into... He goes into a... Uh, he goes into one of the larger buildings, and uh, a little while later he comes back. He's like, "Here you go, man," and he uh, he produces a, this weird-looking thing. It looks like a rapier made of wood, and its cross guard is made of leaves. This is a rapier, a magic rapier. They call it the Sylvan Splinter. It's passed down by our ancestors, man. Hope you take good care of it. Who wants a plus we'll one sure rapier? To... I'll, I'll take it. Yep. Yeah, we'll give it to Isaac. I yeah. mean, technically, it's the only one that can use the rapier. Right yeah, that's that's that makes sense. So you now have a rapier. Right okay, so I just add the plus one rapier right from the right from the game. Yes, and if you'd like, you can specify the fact that it's called the Sylvan Splinter. And it has a very distinct appearance. 
Just a second. Putting it in here. It's in the inventory. It's in there. Okay, um... Should I get rid of the, the other up here, or just keep it? You can, you can hold on to it for now. You can hold on to it, maybe sell it. <laughs> yeah, think about it. Okay, so you wanted to call it what? The this... Sylvan Splinter. How do how you spell that? Sylvan. Uh, S-Y-L-V-A-N. S-I what? S-Y. Y. L-V-A-N. Yeah. Splinter? Yes. Yep. Okay, thank you. All right. All right. Afterwards, he he takes you back to uh, the group of the protesters, and he he uh, calls them over, and he explains the situation as best they can, and turns you over to uh, the authorities. Uh, the half orc man uh, that's that fiddled with the papers, you see him again, and he uh, he speaks to you. Uh, hey, looks like a. Uh, I'm not sure what you guys did, but looks like you've managed to get through to them somewhat. Uh, I will call it that. Mm hmm. Yeah. It's, uh, it, it's a bit more complicated. Well, to thank you, uh, we can send you guys home with some, uh, with some good stuff, but first... I have some things to give you. First of all, uh, Kalis. And, uh, Kalis is like, yes? Uh, the orc produces, the half-orc man produces a, a letter with the symbol of Lathander on it. Ooh. Seems you're needed back home for something. I, I was given this letter, told to give it to you. He, he takes it, he opens it up, and his eyes light up. And he's like, oh, man. Okay, then. I'll see you guys. I I have to deal with this. And with that, he is gone. All right. Oh. As for the rest of you, uh, the man continues. The... Uh, <laughs> President Rista uh, wanted to give you, give you all this as a uh, an additional reward. Uh, she's quite liked what you've done. Uh, I mean, I mean, since you've uh, done a good job, I figured I'd give it to you. Oh, well, that's very kind of you. Thank you. He hands you all uh, these these weird uh, these small rectangular pieces of paper. It has the word voucher on them. <laughs> what? Oh, I see where this is going. Uh, <laughs> it looks like uh, looks like a fifty percent off of a single meal and drink combo at a a <laughs> popular tavern uh, inside yes! of the inside the city of Fion, which it which is named the Bone Club. <laughs> a bone club is ready. I'm gonna go. Half of drinks, okay. yes. <laughs> I'm spending the next minute to keep my defender up. Yeah, that. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> I'm, I'm sort of uh, rushing this along because uh, you know you guys are gonna. Yeah. We gotta sure. finish this up. Yep. So now that uh, that's all done, um. I suppose I could take you guys to the map, and I will explain what happens oh next. Uh, would you guys like to? Uh, would you guys li like to use these vouchers? Looks like they'll expire in a couple days. Uh, right, I don't see yeah. why not. <laughs> I don't see why not. It just <laughs> wow! She gave us vouchers that'll be expired at the end of the week. <laughs> I, I I'm sure that. It was meant to be a nice present. <laughs> I was expecting more. <laughs> to be fair, we, we got like a, a bunch of platinum last time. 
I wish I, I was in that quest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I bet you were. <laughs> yeah. Totally. After oh, damn, all, that was... after that, um, you will, uh, <laughs> if you'd like to use the vouchers, you can go into the city of Theon and uh, you are given <laughs> directions to a place called the Bone Club. I, I don't know why, but whenever I say its name, I, I just gotta be like the Bone Club. Yeah, it's uh, it can mean something else. <laughs> the Bone Club. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> My parents told me to stay away from this place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, let's let's not focus on that though. Yeah. <laughs> Presumably, it's meant to be a play on Bone Club, like like a club yeah. and a bone. But it's yeah. also a club because you know a club is also means something else. Uh-huh. Yes, it's a very clever name. Anyways. Excellent. Uh, to the bone club. <laughs> you're in there. You you enter, and it it looks like an okay place. It's actually pretty mellow. But uh, there's some people uh, in there chatting up, uh, being loud. Uh, you can see uh, what look like uh, in-house bards. Uh, there are a couple of them. There's a dragonborn. There is a there is a halfling, and there is also some sort of tiefling. They seem to be chatting amongst each other. Looks like they're on break. What would you like to do? Well, Isaac's gonna walk up to them <laughs> because he walk, he's a bard too. He wants to you know you know converse with them. Converse. Converse. <laughs> you said coverse. No, I said converse. No, you said coverse, and I'm going to hang that over your head for the rest of your life. <laughs> All right, <laughs> fine. Okay then. Um. Uh, they look at you. <laughs> Would you like to say something as you're approaching them? As like coversing with them? Jeez. <laughs> 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 Okay, so okay, wait. Hey, everyone. I'm Isaac. I'm a bard too. W would you like to, you know, trade songs? Maybe talk about other things. He's kind of awkward at this point. Like he isn't. He's he's never talked to other bards before. Uh, I'm assuming they all look at you. One of them I will not be role playing for obvious reasons, but the the uh the blue scale dragonborn eyes you and kind of scoffs like what are you doing <laughs> what are you doing it, you you do not look like this is your scene my my c scene scene oh. no you said c i said oh, scene up. you said c you're gonna hang that over my head for the rest of your life <laughs> wow damn it they canceled <laughs> each other out <laughs> <laughs> Take that. Ten out of ten. Anyways, uh, the halfling. <laughs> you you notice that the halfling has a a particular uh hairstyle. As it looks looks kind of edgy, like a not a like hair a... aside from uh the middle of the head. It's a bunch He's of it sticking mohawk. out. He's got a mohawk. You could say it's, it's a hawk of the mo variety. <laughs> And there's also there's also a bard, that's also a tiefling. They they have a skin color you haven't seen. Uh, hello. Hello there, love. Uh, what, uh, don't don't mind my friends, or rather, the scaly one. He can be a bit surly to newcomers. Excuse me. Come on, Angel. Angel, come on. Well, you know it's true, especially when you get a few rounds in you. That is, that is actually pretty true. I, I, I do do that sometimes. But I, I'm just wondering what the hell he's doing here. W would you like to speak to him? It'd be best if I was the one. Okay. Angelique then swings her, her axe, her axe base over her shoulder while sitting there propping her 
leather pirate boots up on the table <laughs> and eyeing eyeing Isaac squaring the eye. Look look out. Look out <laughs> look out, Isaac. She's a pirate. <laughs> <laughs> what you want because a pirate is free you are a pirate okay Please. so like I said don't mind my little scaly friend here what kind of what you kind s- of do you like to play I'm sorry uh, you, you called a dragonborn little <laughs> wait w- w- sorry I missed it missed that because like cool talked all of a sudden I'm uh, she's asking what kind of music you play. Oh. You you play on I, a lute, so it should be easy to answer. I, I'm playing on a lute. I, I mostly just play whatever comes to mind, really. And kind of both scoffs and giggles, and then kind of flings her axe bass, axe lute over her shoulder so that you can see that it is, in fact, an axe, a axe with a loop strings, with loop <laughs> strings attached to it. This is a loot, my dear boy. This is a loot. Mm-hmm. That's not a knife. That's a knife. This is a knife. This is a knife. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my dear boy, my dear Isaac, is Lucille. Wait a minute. You, she no, she's no his name you don't yet. know his name. Stop oh, it. I said it. I'm sorry. Oh, you said... Have you said his name, Isaac? Yeah, he's not mentioned his name, but maybe they know him because of, uh, you know, the bards know each other or something. They probably wouldn't just say his name. They might share is notes. They may not know each other personally. Yeah. Like, they probably know name. what he looks like because he's kind of plain looking. <laughs> he's like yeah, one of the most written on her hand. Very, he's so, very... so plain-looking that he's actually kind of standoffish. Sandy out, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm thinking, yeah. Like, they know who he that. is because of how he's the most normal-looking kid in the, the, the Bard's College thing. <laughs> love, Not everyone may... goes to a literal college. If I may ask, love, what are you and your merry band? Merry band. If you want to call them that doing here oh um we got vouchers for a, a, a night stay and stuff for f- food and we're here he's kind of he's just kind of nervous vouchers i keep telling the owner we need to stop that promotion how are we supposed to make any bloody money hmm. uh, um... she didn't size she, she just sighs and stands up, size kind of sizing you up, up and down, holding her, holding her loot axe by the, by the handle. Her wax. Make, make, the... Making sure not to squeeze too tightly. What's the height difference between these two? Well, Isaac's actually kind of short. I mean, it's probably Uh-oh. a foot, maybe. I don't know. Like... Isaac's actually uh, not like shorter than how how do I explain it. I need to look at this sheet real quick because I don't remember where I put it. But I remember him oh, being like the size of a teenager, basically. He is a teenager. He's, he's eighteen, but he's a little shorter than that. And Jalik's five six, so so I imagine he'd be like five three, maybe. I'm trying I'm to look. My sheet won't load. My sheet won't load. I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying to find yeah. it, but. Such loading. Your household love. Enjoy the drink. Enjoy the food. I'm going to be next up on stage, I believe. She then eyes her other two bards next to her, kind of giving them not a mean glare, but a kind of I dare you to challenge that claim kind of glare. As in, let me go next. Yeah, it's five three. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> tiny, tiny. <laughs> uh, the halfling takes out his schedule and is like, yes, actually, yes. She then looks around the room and spots the others that you came with, spotting the other tiefling, giving her kind of a look of, not interest, 
but intrigue as if she hadn't seen another tiefling in a long while aside from herself in the mirror and tiefling is sitting on the arms of a rather big steel defender just this giant work creature I feel like that would be what I would notice if if a group of weirdos rock walked into a bar. <laughs> the giant. Yeah. Giant. The giant. Oh, yeah. How's this freak? Uh, <laughs> upon seeing this, Angelique kind of raises an eyebrow and looks down at the blonde boy in front of her and then points toward the older the the older teethling. Before I go on stage, love. Who in the bloody shite is that? Hmm. Who? Isaac turns and looks toward where she's pointing. It's a kick. I, oh, um, you're probably talking about the clockwork. Wait, talk the old lady. Oh, talk about. Oh. It's be funny if you talk about the clockwork. <laughs> hey. You say old lady, that was them fighting words. <laughs> 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 so what is we trying to say in response to that? Like to the um who in the white boy side is that? You describing who Triance is? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah like Yeah. Isaac's like Oh, um that's that's way Triance right, right there. But Tell her after my show, I would like to have a conversation. And then Angelique, without another word, spins her axe in her hand before walking up onto the stage. And since mics and stuff don't aren't in this world, she uses thaumaturgy. And now her on- voice is much louder. On her Excellent. voice to get everyone's <laughs> attention. Hello, lads and lasses. Welcome to the Burn Club. I, as always, am Angelique Rothschild, and I will have the pleasure of entertaining you tonight. Do not forget to tip your bartender and to tip our lovely waitstaff. The, the bartender gives you a thumbs up. <laughs> Basically, a, a, a thumbs up and a smile that says, thank you for saying that. The back of her jacket says, try the veal. <laughs> try the veal! The... <laughs> and now that she's up on stage and you've got more of a full body view of her, she's wearing black leather pants with a tight purple kind of piratey, um, not frilly, but, well, frilly at the collar, but low cut top long sleeves with a black leather corset to make her assets kind of more pronounced. More prominent. More prominent. And a black, not leather, but a kind of a black material tricorder hat with a purple feather in it. And, And her black leather pirate boots. Very much, if those who didn't, those who don't know her would think that she would be a pirate or a buccaneer in her spare time when not performing, despite this not being the case. And so, as she starts playing her lute, instead of playing the more light toned music that a normal lute would play, plays a more deeper note to it because of the design and as she starts to play she starts to sing and what she sings is a very tragic yet soulful sea shanty heard more around the region than say where you guys would be from it's about a sailor who met a beautiful pirate queen and died defending her from having to walk the plank from a mutiny. 
And as she sings, you would see that in her eyes is kind of a, a sad look in her face as if the song has a deeper meaning that it does not quite convey through words towards her. What's everyone doing while this is going on? Are they just Isaac's hanging out? Just <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm listening to it while I'm drinking so, my half past I'm price assuming, drink. I'm assuming you're not just staring at the wall. Yeah, I'm definitely not. I'm listening to the music. Yeah. I mean, you, you can do both at the same time, but yeah. Ian just had. Sorry, go ahead. Ian's just gonna have like the Daniel O'Brien. This doesn't feel right. It's the wrong cafe conversation. Leo didn't. <laughs> 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 now it looks like it's clearly defacing the map. Um... <laughs> no, I mean, like... Oh my god! Oh, I'm defacing the map at this point. Let's be real here. Yeah. Men in the scene. Well, <laughs> you we were invited to drink, and so uh, we're gonna drink. Ian's gonna drink at least. Yep, I'll drink with Ian. <laughs> oh least... yeah. Ian, as we saw, Trance isn't allowed to drink. I um back then uh, didn't have those age limits, so technically I can drink too. I guess the growing boy. No, no. Uh, Ian goes and he orders a second mug just for Isaac. He's a growing boy. He needs to. Don't let him drink too much, Ian. <laughs> He's a what growing boy. What drink would you boy? recommend, Ian? <laughs> oh no, I would not let him drink what I recommend. Oh, Ian. <laughs> Ian, while you're at it, get Leo a drink as well. I have some more work. He to can do. pay for his own drink. He's an adult. <laughs> I think they're. Wrong. I actually think. Yes, I am. <laughs> hey, technically, I'm an adult too. <laughs> so I, I, this is true, but you're also fairly adorable, so you know, you get by on that alone. Uh, that's fair. <laughs> For fuck's sake, you're all you're all young compared to me. She takes off the defender, so everybody gets to work yeah. on it. I'm twenty six. <laughs> all young compared to me. You're barely older than my own daughters. <laughs> so, yeah. have you had daughters this whole time? I have a single daughter. This has never come up. You don't ask. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> I guess that's why. I I think well, just you know tuning the strings on his a loop. You know, not like not really like you know playing it, but he's like you know adjusting the strings and such. You know, so they don't break or they. And they just say say it right the right way. Wait, are you telling me? But has she been living in that manner the whole time? Who? We've just never seen her. Oh, my daughter is married and lives in Para. Oh, okay. I was because that's why I was so thrown. I thought for a second you were saying there's another whole person in that house that we had not seen, despite all the bullshit we've done in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> in other words, oh, right? Jesus, <laughs> right? <laughs> what, what the hell, man? You gotta, you gotta meet yourself when you gotta do that. Yeah. Right, you know yeah. gonna I just save that sound effect as the next explosion for fireball. That would be great. <laughs> That's hilarious. You do that. Wow, while you are talking and she's finishing her song, Angelique. While sparing looks at, at the crowd below her, or before her, steals one or two more glances towards Lady Triance, not out of carnal interest, but out of curiosity and intrigue, as if as soon as once the song is over, as it comes towards its end, after a couple minutes, she wants to figure out a way to come and speak to her. I mean, you could just walk up to her. Currently, she's got a giant mechanical hand on the table trying to fix a broken finger. You gotta admit, the bar with social anxiety is amusing. This is true. Torment <laughs> the wizard. That is Along, your goal no. now. That is your quest. The wizard, the wizard just has lady issues. The wizard <laughs> does have a lot of lady issues. 
I just get nervous from people. I, he's like, I do not know how to speak to the women. <laughs> the women. I can't I can't speak to you guys. You know, after traveling with you for a long time, I can safely say that I'm no longer afraid of anything. A princess. Where? Where? <laughs> I, I I've been thinking about this. I gotta make a I gotta make a where, where? I gotta make I gotta make a joke stat block for the princess. Oh shit, that would be amazing. Uh, She's an accidental lore bard. That would be amusing. Accidental lore bard? I, I can work with this. <laughs> oh this, am I the only one who hopes the princess is like a lich or something? That'd be hilarious. Oh god, that would be great. <laughs> she's secretly evil. <laughs> Wait, she's you're saying she's a lich? No, it'd be secretly funny. Secretly, the princess was. is a lich. Too mu not enough rotted flesh on her body, from what you guys have been able to tell. I'm a witch. Hey. A witch. Yeah, hey, I hey, witch. Hey. So, sorry, I thought you said lich. <laughs> I did say lich. She's been grunt. This whole May time, I... she's been grunty. May I continue? You mean Lady Grumble? Go. Yeah, she's just been grumble the whole time. <laughs> That was that'd be hilarious, but no. Some serious split personality issues. Yeah. Hey, go ahead, Jazzy. Song is over with one powerful chord towards the end of it. She slings her axe base, her axe loot over her shoulder, much like you would a normal loot or a actual axe, and then fixes her black her long black hair that goes almost completely down to, hold on, I'm going to read it right, that goes almost completely down towards her, like her thighs almost, kind of area, and sweeps it out of her eyes before jumping off of the stage and walking towards Lady Triance, giving her a bow while tipping her hat. Hello, ma'am. Might I have a word? Very well. Just don't distract me from my work. Evidently, the delicate handling of small gear such as this is quite and tedious. How the hell did my... Correct. I am, I am. I assume my bard friend here informed you of my name. Yes, I was wondering what your surname might be. It's originally Joe Khan. However, recently I've taken I've taken up my husband's name, Belmont. Would you happen to know a family by the name of Rothschild out of the city of? Hold on. Here, you guys are in Fion right now, so. So, would you happen to know a? My fa my parents are uh, William and Charlotte Rothschild here in Fion. I've said that I have. Most of my youth is spent dealing with criminals. But then all the better for you. Stay away from them. I recall I have dealt with a Rothschild before. Notorious gang leader or something. I don't remember much about details about him. Uh, I mean, are you trying to say that you've met, you've met a member of her family? You're saying you you just met someone with a similar she's, name. I mean, she's probably met someone with a similar name, or maybe that name specifically. She has no idea. She dealt with a lot of criminals when she was young. Uh, that is true. You have made that very clear. That's true. Yeah. So it's, it's I. Like a Unless you are alone and without your merry band, I suggest you stay clear, because my mother and father, if you wish to call them that, do not take kindly to other races. So I fear they would. I, I fear that they would not be your friends would not be treated very kindly. I have dealt with one of your kind before. Who knows? <laughs> that sounds very familiar. What? I dealt with a. I think his name was Rothschild. It might have been Ruthberg. I don't know. <laughs> it was a very racist creature. I ended up stringing him up by his legs and watching 
the artist they practice with him. I'm assuming that, that, I'm assuming that, that didn't happen. To, I'm assuming um, that was a different... Up. Was that a different... Having fun. You better hope. I'm just wondering if that was a different person. I, I, Probably I was. I, I'm sure that yeah. at least one of you would know. Every day, I'm reminded that there is a surprising amount of sadism tucked into your little sweet old, old head. Like that's that's really kind of surprising. It's not that surprising. Well, secrets. Well, 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 yeah. well, my lady, if you would happen to run into my mother and father on your way through town, I would welcome such treatment toward them. If you dare cross my path and show any sign of disrespect, it is often best to dispose of them there and now. Of course, I will only here temporarily. we will be gone by morning. Your purpose yes. here? Uh, we just... A brief place. On... Go ahead, Ian. Oh, it was you just a brief place. Sure that showed up, we took care of her job, and we're fine. Upon hearing the word quest, she raises an eyebrow, holds up a finger, and then walks over to the bartender and asks her, or asks the bartender to go get the owner of the tavern for a quick conversation. Uh-oh. <laughs> as, okay. as her interest has been piqued. Ah, oh, crap. Well, oh, I... did we do something wrong? <laughs> I think we did something very right, but we'll find out. <laughs> You're wrong, probably right. I... Leo, we need more pictures. Stand in the center of the hall. Stand in the center of the hallway. I need to take a shot. <laughs> <laughs> that, would be, that would be the Game Master's cue. Uh, yes, he... He does exactly that. He's going to yeah. go and get... Uh, he's going to call the owner over. Don't and... tell me it's Gearin. <laughs> <That'd be hilarious>. <laughs> <laughs> the, the owner is not Gearin. Damn it. Is a That'd human funny. that you've never met before because he, he has not existed until now. Oh boy. He was, he was literally born yesterday. Okay. No, you ever heard of a... <laughs> he's a baby. <laughs> what, was that, what was that term? Uh, solipsistic determinism? Yes. I've never heard that term before. Hmm. I have heard of this term, yes. Yeah, he exists now. And he, what, 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 what would you guys like to do with him? He's just he's just walking in confused. Like, wh why am I here exactly? Angelique, That's a good question. Upon, upon seeing him, Angelique fondly, despite her more devilish appearance, Smiles happily at him, giving him a quick hug, and he wasn't expecting that. Points over to the band of newcomers behind them. Ah, hello, sir. I was wondering if I may cash in those days of leave that we spoke of. Uh, right. What are, you, what are you using them for exactly? Uh, you see, these colorful, this colorful group of travelers, I dare say adventurers, have told me that they were traveling through town on a mighty quest. And you see, being your bard barian and your bouncer for the Bone Club has been absolutely lovely, but I feel the need, the itch, to travel the land for a while and test my music and my skills elsewhere before I return back to my home, which would be here, considering you let me live upstairs. Right. You want to go with them on an adventure? Who are you people? Uh, yeah, he, he just takes out his questing journal, and in the questing journal, he just put "deal with hippies." Are you sure it was that epic a quest? Uh, <laughs> is, is there anything else in it other than that specific phrase? No, oh, there's a quite a bit in this journal. 
Hmm. He no, he, so... fl- he flips through a lot of it and he's like, "You're our home members." I. That's true. Okay. Well, she is not, so that may cause problems. I'm not very familiar familiar with that group, but uh, I'm aware yeah, as long that as we... usually you have to be a member. But uh, whatever. I feel like. If we introduce her to our boss, I'm pretty sure that she'll be fine. Helps, loves. I did used to be a bounty hunter before settling down here. So yes, I'm, you were. And I'm you are... good at, let's say, negotiating for coin. Please stop using that euphemism. <laughs> Not like that. Okay, fine. I guess I come to conclusions. So, uh, 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 other nights, young, we'll see. How about we listen? I, I don't know. This is a difficult decision for me. You are one of our most uh, active uh, musicians on our staff, and you are also our bouncer. That is a big responsibility and not something that I can simply uh, replace. If you are going to do this, you are going to, uh, you're going to need to, hmm. listen, your vacation days, the ones we talked about, I'm not sure how much you'll be able to get out of that. I mean, sure, maybe you can go out for a while, but that is something that I'm going to have to, uh, to mull over. I have an... I will go up back to my office and work on that. For now, if, uh... If it helps, I have an arrangement that you may find enjoyable. Oh, okay. What is it? Every, every amount of coin that I make while with this merry band of travelers, be it ill-gotten or fairly gained, I will send half back to the Bone Club so that you may either hire a temporary bouncer or upgrade this beautiful yet rustic establishment. Um, okay, that is certainly interesting okay then i will uh i will definitely think about that for now how about you all just enjoy yourselves i am going to return to my office here's all right i just kind of like surprised <laughs> like it's not really it's like not really like a no situation. He's not, he's not like against it, but he feels like he might be getting one upped. <laughs> <laughs> like if you, um, I mean, he has less levels in Bard than you, so you don't have to worry so badly. I know. I'm just <laughs> no for Isaac's in character. He feels like he's just you know, out of his real life, maybe. Is that the term you want to use? What what was the term you said? Out of your out of his element, perhaps. That's not right. Um, it, it's more like he's uncomfortable with the situation, but not against it. I'm uh, sure. I'm not sure what I would use to describe that, aside from what you've just said. Yeah, probably just with that, just that. Like he's like, I'll just say nervous. How's how's that sound? Okay, there we go. That that's fine. But with that, you guys can. Enjoy yourselves here. Get some get some nice food and drink. And since you have those half off vouchers, you can get the more expensive stuff. <laughs> Excellent. And Ian just uh, you don't look at trials. Okay, so remember all that time ago when we first went to the pizza place where you told me that I cannot flirt with a waitress who's on the job because that's kind of rude. It's her job to be nice to me. If she's off the clock, is that fine? Well that depends. It's a delicate situation. We're going to be traveling with this one, apparently, so I suppose it's fine? Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, uh, 
I, I, I don't know. Um, I'm going to reach into my bag of holding and just check that the owl bear skull is still in okay condition. I still don't see why Revel is so insistent that a monster's head would be a good conversation starter. But, uh, you know, I would trust that. Why do you I'm... still have that? <laughs> yeah. Well, I was going to keep it as a souvenir because I can mount it on the wall. Ah, uh, I guess that would be a cool house accessory. I know, right? I could just keep it in the bedroom. I don't I'll keep it in the bedroom. I don't sleep in. <laughs> just for the guests, uh, just think, stare at the I skull while they're about to fall asleep. Again. Which Ian, I've been meaning to ask you about. You don't sleep hey? in that room yet. It's always a mess. What do you do in there? See, that's just the thing. Uh, it got to be a mess because of whatever reveled in there. I don't entirely trust that. Although it was a mess after she vanished as well. To be fair, I had not touched anything after she vanished. We kind of just went straight out. Well... If you're, if you, what do you think I could be doing in there to make a mess? Because I'm pretty sure we all know I'm not getting laid. We weren't saying that, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, don't be so hard on yourself. <laughs> You'll find <I'll> someone. Exactly... <laughs> <laughs> Is this just another way of you to make fun of me? I, I oh, wasn't I intending guess. to. Can Angelique overhear all of this that is happening oh, for her? Definitely, yeah. Definitely. <laughs> upon, upon hearing this, Angelique walks up to... What was his name? I'm sorry, I'm still getting character names. Ian, Ian I suppose. Yeah. Walk, walks up to Ian, pats him on the shoulder, and kind of leans in to whisper in his ear, softly, in her smooth accent, Love, I hate to burst your bubble, but the fine lady that you are traveling with has more of a chance than you would. I prefer those of a more... Fair and feminine persuasion. See, I understand where you're coming from, but I still don't get how that relates to your point about Lady Treon's having a better chance. Are women, Ian? He, he, also married. She's also married. Is, married is to talk about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, married. Married. oh my God, you're talking about a married woman. I'm playing. Yeah, yeah. Ian, well, more fair women, and she's going to give. Uh, Angelica, well, and mind you, I am married, so that's not happening. I didn't say it was happening. I just said I was just trying to let the lad down easy. For what? By saying... <laughs> By, By saying, saying he'd rather be a homewrecker? Did you think I was married? Let me down easy with what? What did you think I was going to do? Well, it looked like, from the way your friends were talking, you were going to try and chimber my timbers. Ah, uh, not with you, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Well, not with you. I've got the straight man's version of a gaydar. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I, I, I don't know I, how to respond. I don't, um, know, I don't know how to respond to this. I, I don't, don't want to know what that... What? What, I, I'm just going gaydar. to. I'm going the ability to, of someone. How you know if someone's gay? I know what a gaydar is. I'm just a ah. bit. I'm a bit weirded out, but same, same. At this point, likewise. I point out, at this point, it is past the time we usually stop. We ended a bit early, so I'm going to say, at this point, you guys can uh, rent a room for cheap, and get Excellent. a long rest in. And I think. Now is a good a good spot to end it for now. What do you guys think? Sounds good. good. Next episode, uh, sounds good. we're on our way back to Aurora. Out of respect, Angelique would decide to stay down in the main area and let Lady Triant have her normal room out of a sign of respect. So that she, she doesn't pay you any mind. Room. She pays you no know, mind, it just goes to the room she, she uh, buys. <laughs> Which, the, the, the character development of this episode has been stunning. Ian started as a blubbering mess with women, 
at that the end of today, he was the Thought Patrol. <laughs> Oof! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, you know, to make matters better, her defender is standing outside her door. Oh, that's amazing. That's very secure. So, yeah. <laughs> question. Can Check I it out. It? Mm. What's the question? Can Go I send ahead, the uh, can I send the rapier back to um, Cherry Wood? To what? Actually, like, oh, like, like have, ma- have it mailed there, basically. Yeah, have yeah, mail the old one there. Mail the old one back there, because that was actually a parting gift from his uncle. So you want to give the druids uh, your rapier? No, I'm, I'm saying I'm saying that he's sending the rapier that um um he was. He's trying to say that his original one he wants to send back home. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I, I, guess, I, I, I okay, guess I, yeah. I misheard you and I, I jumped to the wrong conclusion. Yes, that's what I'm trying to say. Okay, then. Thank you. you can do that. Does it, will it cost anything, or...? Uh, I would say... I don't... I don't know how how much exactly uh, it how costs to get a courier, but I would say it costs about five gold. Alright, that works. <laughs> And then he sends that that old one back to his uncle, who made it for him. All right, it has been mailed, and now we can uh, we can end the session. Thank there. you all for listening in, and uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed it. This is going to be uh, we uh, won't be. Uh, <laughs> I I did not record the actual footage of the combat. I've been doing that before, but I. Like I've been saying, I'm not sure how much effort I want to put into this exactly, because otherwise it would, it would be a big thing and it would take up too much of my time to feel worth it. But in any case, I hope you, I hope you enjoyed this, and we will we will be back next time. Bye. Bye.